Let's explore the fascinating world of linear perspective and its connection to the Renaissance. But first, let's start by visiting the Middle Ages. This is a time before the Renaissance, and artists were not focused on creating a realistic representation of space. Instead, they focused on showing religious symbolism and spiritual meaning. As a result, medieval art often lacked depth and proportion that looked realistic. In medieval art, art looked flat and two-dimensional. More important figures or objects were drawn larger than others, and backgrounds were typically minimal. During the Renaissance, artists began to explore and develop techniques to represent space more realistically. Linear perspective became a key element in helping to achieve this goal. Linear perspective is a technique that revolutionized art during this period, allowing artists to create realistic and immersive compositions. During the Renaissance, artists like Leonardo da Vinci and Raphael embraced linear perspective as a way to bring depth and realism to their paintings. By using converging lines and a vanishing point, they were able to create the illusion of three-dimensional space on a two-dimensional surface. However, not all Renaissance artworks use linear perspective as their main technique. Artists like Leonardo da Vinci and Sandro Botticelli show their skill in different ways. They use techniques like atmospheric perspective, which means making things in the distance look lighter and less detailed. They also used color and light to create depth and realism in their paintings. Now let's talk about how you can use linear perspective in your own drawings. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to get you started. Step one, start by drawing a horizontal line across your paper to represent the horizon. This line will serve as a reference point for your vanishing point. Step two, Choose a vanishing point on the horizon line. This is where all the lines in your drawing will converge. Step three, draw the objects in your composition using straight lines that radiate from the vanishing point. Remember, objects closer to you should be larger, while objects farther always should appear smaller. Step four, add details and refine your drawing. Use the converging lines to guide the placement of objects and create a sense of depth. Step five. Finally, you can choose to color or shade your drawing to enhance the three-dimensional effect. Remember, linear perspective is just one tool in an artist's toolbox. Feel free to experiment with other techniques and styles to express your creativity. With practice and imagination, you can create stunning artworks that transport viewers into a world of depth and realism. 